Where did the name Raskasa originate from? Uh, Raskasa come from Ethiopia, it's an Ethiopian word. And it means one was, Kasa mean one was being recompensated. You know, you know, Ras mean Ed, you know, mm-hmm. like Ed creator, Ed admission, you know? Yeah. Um, Raskasa was a um, highly Selassie right hand man, he was the head of the army, you know what I mean? And he lead Ethiopia to the victory over the Italian when the Italian invaded. Ethiopia. You know, mm-hmm. that is Muslim, of course, you must have heard of most people about that. Wow. Yeah. You know, they might try to teach the children to go to Ethiopia. So, I'll see, I see, bonafide friend, one of his bonafide friends and leader of the army was Raskasa. Uh, where did you um, grow up and um, describe your childhood? Grew up in Kingston, you know, by uh, Dunkirk. And grew up with five sisters, my mother. Father, drop out, me and my father. And you know, uh, just like any other youth group, you get a, you know, you move from one get to another get a, you know, that area they get violent, so your mother move to another area and another area. But I is officially um, an East man, you know. You know, Park is like a place where you used to live to, and um, enough of that place, Shafir Road, Bangalore, and you know, what place in Jamaica, what if I get a, I man come from, you know. Just like any other guest I get, you know, we just grew up the same way. We, I mean, I was just telling somebody today that I never even did know say with the poor because we're happy, you know. And I tell the truth. I'm glad to grow up the way we grow up and come up in the ghetto and never know my father and all of these things because these things make me who I am today. What inspired you to get involved in um, videography? Um, first of all, we used to do music, mm-hmm. you know, we used to DJ, <laughs> we meet a bridge named Trevor Bailey and it's like, say, we have a recording studio and we go on there and thing and we did the other one and do some tune and then we get involved in a mixing, you know, like we become a little engineer in the studio and then we start fool around and make two rhythm and yeah. you know start advise people on the rhythm them and thing and start right tune with people and yeah. you know the, the, the yeah. people within the camp nobody yeah. too famous and we did it but Trevor Daly now is one of the founding father you know, the founding father of music video business in Jamaica and he used to, he used to be working and he did do a video name you too girly girly with Sophia Jazz yeah I remember yeah. you know what I'm saying so them do them thing they have video like shocking out shocking out him and Big Daddy which is Leo Reggie so in the day and you know, and they take them take a break from them thing there and go into the music business and then till one day a virgin of his called him up and said, Yo, why you do a video for Papa San and thing. And some go up on the video shoot and I see how the thing put together and I end up on the video as a as a FBI man. I know that people and thing the video and thing. Yeah. And then I say, Yeah, I like all this look. So then we start doing while I still have the music, but I never want to be a director. Yeah. You know, them time that then now we start link up with Kevin Lee and, and we had to make Kevin Lee into a director and then long and short Kevin decided to leave Jamaica and so on and so forth. So all the artists them know me used to work with Kevin in the sense of him to create the script and him to direct and all these other things. So when he left now them said, Why can't you can do it? What about video one you deal with it? And the first video, first artist we work with was T.O.K. Mm. And that's how my career started with T.O.K. You know how many um, videos I've, I've done since? We'd have to go count. Are the most memorable one then? Well, they have all the T.O.K. videos, them, which is three of them. Mm-hmm. You have Vibes Cartel, Wayne Marshall. You have um, Yogi. And I'm also in that video, me and Kevin do that. Mm-hmm. You have... Uh, let's just go in at the more, you know, and if the world want them, I'm a member of the movie. Yeah. You have um, Never Gonna Be The Same, Sean Paul. Mm. You have Gentleman, Intoxication, Gentleman Superior, Gentleman Can't Hold Us Down. But about 
five video for gentlemen. Mm. And we have Damien Marley, welcome to Jamrock. Me, all night. And now we have Steve Marley, um, Traffic Jam. Um, Barton Lee, Barton Lee, Lee I, Lee 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 Lee. I was the first AD and that. As a matter of fact, I would go as far to say I helped direct some of that, those scenes. Like for instance, you know, the, the part, the dance hall scene, you know, the girl and dancing, they were dancing very hip hop like. I was saying, no, that's not what Puffy, you know, had shine at the time. So I'm calling and saying, no, he wanted very street, very yeah, hard. Hardcore. So we tell him that's wine and another video bubble, you know, and touch and you know. You know, them things that are around the place at the time, it's fresh, you know? Yeah. Profit, have the whole place burning down. So that was something fresh to dance out, so we'll put that in there as well. Yeah. And, you know, some of the gangster scene, as you see, the hardcore dance out vibe, which is really my kind of style, where, you know, like, you know, I said jam rock then. Some people ask why you like to shoot in the garrison. It's not a matter of like to shoot in the garrison, like, or uh, not like. It's just that I feel the. The way it look, you know, like uh, all them paint the place, yeah. and the zinc fence, uh, the wall, uh, Not sure. you know, and just the vibe of the community. Mm. And when you have that rustic look, and they take an artist who so well clean and put them in city, it's contrast, you know. Yeah. And you know, is there so the music come from too, you know? Yeah. You know, so it was pretty much a video like that, which is really my style. Yeah. I won't have my style. Can I have many style? Yeah. They really check it, guys. Yeah. If you look on a thing, the video intoxication by a gentleman. If you ever see that video, that's a love song. It's a nice story, simple story. Yeah. And if you look at Kamar, it's you. Kamar is like an R&B, reggae R&B artist, you know? And we do a video for him totally different, you know? From youths are getting hot, youths are cold to me, yeah. by Richie Spice, Richie Spice uh, Welcome yeah. to Jam Rock. You know? Yeah. 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 So it's, it's very different from that. So I just say I have many styles. Yeah. You know, so like you when you look on Wayne Marshall and Vibes Cartel, this mm. is a new millennium, a different yeah. thing. You know? yeah. And then, 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 that was a groundbreaking for us. Yes, yeah. You know, for us to create something like and that. An ammunition. Look at the man, the spaceship is like a, a car, a fly them time there, you know what I mean? Shhh, you know the yeah. video. And it's a land, like the man, them fly got the dance. Yeah. Cartel, you know, one of that. Yeah. No, the police didn't that and cartel and some weird looking yeah. futuristic and Wayne was on top of a tree and, and got a tree and represent him saying choo choo choo. Yeah, choo choo. <laughs> it's not a Wayne, it's, train. it's yeah. not a train, it's Wayne, Wayne, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, so we have many styles, we don't really check it. Yeah, man, so you don't, you don't have um, one particular method of doing it? Doing no, it. it's just the whatever vibration the music give off, you know? Mm. Yeah. What is the most controversial production you have, you have, um, have worked on in your career? Video, um, mm. quite a few. The first one was T.O.K. Chichi Man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Guys, when it start get that, the first set of people will lash out against it because in, in them say, for me, I'm a partner Chichi Man, Kiara, and you see the, them, the, the, like some dark Vila type man surround the Kiara, and then them go, powers come out of the man and the Kiara disappear. The church was the first set of people who come out and say, well, being very aggressive towards and towards homosexual and what kind of message you send him. I mean I said, but what do you talk about them same God did burn them well, Sadaman no. come around kill Batman and lesbian and Sadamai. So what would them how, how them fear come defend that? And he, as far as I can tell it's just a video. I never got to go homosexual when you make a video. Mm. If you watch the video it TOK went to the movie and them watching a film while they're at the movie. Mm. Them in the movie, you know, as well as they are at the movie. You understand? They are yeah. in the film and they are watching the film at the same time. And it's about this evil car who need to get destroyed. Yeah. Because this car has a certain amount of pollution coming out of it and polluting the atmosphere. So the, the dark Vedas them come around and gather together and build up all their powers and shoom and the car Yeah, disappear. get rid of the car. And look at me up to this day still ask me, yo, what kind of magic you work for me the car disappear? <laughs> In your words, explain um, the process of making a, a video. Alright. Well, the first thing, all the things set out is you get the song and then you see that them give their idea of what they're looking for or you just totally create on your own. So you get the song, you get an idea of what they're looking for, 
you get an idea of what the budget is. You know what I mean? So you know how much to create. Mm. So then you get the song now. Smoke some ganja, you know? What <laughs> <laughs> that vibe. Sometimes you do even smoke the ganja too. And you create a treatment. Put it down on paper. Put a budget together <laughs> to match the treatment. Yeah. Kind of treatment if it's a, yeah, a car going fly from over the Canadian embassy and land over here and explode. You need these people for deal with these things. Yeah. You know? So then you put your budget together, then look at it, then approve, yeah, this is what we want, alright, cool, we can work with this. Then you put your team together, you know? Mm. Producer and so on, and your know, location manager and all these different things and stylists and you know, art director and all these people. You put them together, they meet and then they would they would they have the treatment and then you, you tell them your vision. So you have to lead every department. Mm. You have to say, okay. That the art department going look on you and say, all right, what exactly you want? I notice you said we're going to have a, a car with graffiti all over it that going to crash. What kind of graffiti you want and how it stay? Then you give them an example. You show them something and you tell them. You look at the wardrobe people and you tell them, say, okay, only muted colors you want, you know what I mean? And the fabric must be something like this and the dress must be something like that. You know? Mm. And then your producer, of course, you know the rest, the producer produce it. Him or she look over it and make it happen. Yeah. You know, you have the assistant director which pretty much him take care of everything around you so you don't have to think about nothing else than just what is in front of you. In front of that camera. Yeah. You know? So long and shit, I hate that, you know? Yeah, man, sure. And you just make it manifest from there and of course the editor play a very important role also if you don't edit it yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're known as one of um, Jamaica's Best directors. Do you have any plans for going into um, films? Well, we just we just finished working on our well, we're writing a feature right now, hmm. and we just um, break it for a minute to enter a competition, and we take that feature film which we don't finish writing yet, and we turn it. We take 15 minutes out of it. And we're making a short film to enter a competition and that's how we can say right now. It's a competition where Steven Spielberg uh, with directors from around the world. Yeah. To make short film and enter a reality competition. Like. Yeah. So, you know, 2007, we're getting to that. But you know, you can write a film in 2007 and finish. And you end up doing film in 2010. Yeah, that's true. That's but we don't intend to do a film in 2010. Start writing <laughs> now and yeah. 2010. Hopefully, you know, it turned out nice and people really appreciate love it and want to invest in it. Yeah, man, definitely. So, yeah, that's, we're definitely doing that because, I mean, no disrespect to my peers, but I don't feel like I have the challenge, so I need challenge, you Yeah, know? yeah. You know what I mean? So, I just kind of went step forward to that still. Yeah, man. But is there, is there any team or any um, idea that you have for, for a movie where you know, say, have your boss? Like we said, we start right to script. Yeah, I mean, apart from that one, apart from that one. We are work on now. Mm -hmm. That's a top secret. Yeah. Any other one where you know, say, yo, from you touch the top it there and make a film off of it. If it either be an individual or if you do with the country itself or anything surrounding Jamaica, which topic you think would have be a proper well, film? Well, the one we work on is about that, and it's a very political film. All right. How America helped to create dance in Jamaica, and them don't even know that. Mm -mm. See? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all I can say. Well, one job. Mm. It's a good thing, you know? Because Bob said, feel it in the one drop. Yeah. So you can't feel it nowhere else, feel it in the one drop. Peace and love, Rastafari, that's it.